young and heartless All is for my family, man, I try my hardest It's all I ever did, and look where it got in Yeah, you been on my mind lately You still got my number, girl, you need to call me I feel like they wanna see me learn the hard way What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jew. I'm back with another video, and this is a story time video about the time I almost died. So it was around, hmm, ding, ding, ding. I'd have to say it was about when I was 13, because I think I was going to high school. I had a water bottle, like the one right here, and for some reason, I just thought it was cool to untwist the water bottle slightly. And I drink it. Hold up. Let me stop before I do it again. And drink water like that with the cap slightly twisted. So I'd squeeze it and the cap would just pop off just like that. So it shot all the way in the back of my throat. And I was choking. I was screaming. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. I wasn't screaming. And I started going like this. I'm like... <laughs> I couldn't breathe. My little brother was right there because we were going outside to go play basketball. He was like, whoa, because he couldn't tell what was going on. So I ran in the house as fast as I could. I was like, <laughs> ran in. I was knocking on my parents' door because the door was locked. I opened it up and I'm like this. There was tears coming from my eyes. I didn't know what to do. My dad and mom were shocked. It was like five seconds of shock. And what was going through my head was, will I ever make it to high school? Will I ever get in a real relationship? These are the things that were going through my head as I was passing away, slowly. I was choking on a bottle cap, and tears were coming down my eyes. And this is the thing I thought of. Will I ever be in a real relationship, or is this where it all ends? So, I got in the room, my mom was screaming, jumping on the bed, my dad got up, he was telling her to relax. My little brother was crying, he was like, no, Julian, no, don't go, don't go. You can't, come on, come on. And my dad, luckily, knew CPR. I breathe it all, oh, it just wouldn't come out. So a couple times he was like, <clears throat> and it wouldn't come out, and it was slowly coming out a little bit. I could feel it, but I still couldn't breathe, and the tears just kept coming from my eyes. It was crazy. I couldn't believe it. I'd never, ever not been able to breathe, and this was my first time. And eventually, he finally did that one last, <clears throat> and boom, it just shot out. The bottle cap came out. I could breathe. My throat was sore. It hurt really bad. So afterwards, everybody was okay, but... My mom thought it was a great idea to smash my phone after. I don't know why. I don't know why she blamed it on my phone. Because my phone had nothing to do with it. It was just me being a dummy, a little kid. So she took my phone and smashed it with a hammer. And I was like, Mom, why would you do that? And she didn't know. She just did it. Her excuse was because I pay the bill. Really? So the next day, I went to the carnival with all of my friends with tape all over my phone and a smashed Android phone. And they were asking me what happened. I just said a freak accident. Or I'd say a hammer hit it. And how does that happen? How does a hammer hit your phone? Oh, because I almost died and my mom hit it with the hammer. That's crazy, right? I know. So yeah, that's my story time video about the time I almost died. Sleep. And that was the first time, I can't tell you guys about the second because it's a little personal, but just know, it almost happened. And you know they say a cat has nine lives? I'm not a cat. Oh well. But, that's it. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Peace.